Hello everyone. I welcome you all to today's uh, session wherein we'll be discussing a CAT level difficulty question. So the question that we have for today is from average mixtures and allegation chapter. So what I would suggest is uh, please uh, pause the uh, video right now. Try out this question and you have your option choices here. See uh, which of the following options do you get as your answer. And then after around 3 to 5 minutes, you can continue watching the video. So let's get started here. It says P and Q are two solutions of ethanol and water. The concentration of ethanol in P and Q is 12% and Y% respectively. So if I talk about the solution P, ethanol is 12% and whereas in solution Q, ethanol is some Y%. If P and Q are mixed in this ratio 5 to 3, so I am taking 5 parts of this to be mixed with 3 parts of this. To get a solution R, so we are mixing these two to find to get R. When equal quantities of P and R are mixed, the concentration of ethanol in the resultant solution is 20%. Find Y is asking. P and Q are mixed in the ratio 5 to 3 to get solution R. When equal quantities of P and R are mixed, the concentration of ethanol in the resultant solution is 20%. So here we are mixing P and R now. So after we mix P and Q, we get R, or some value, some resultant concentration. Then we are mixing P and R and P and R are being mixed in equal quantities. Now when he says equal quantities, so the case of weighted average right, will simply convert it to a simple average because the weights are equal. 1 kilogram of this or rather 1 litre of this mixed with 1 litre of this, the overall concentration will become, for example, we know P is 12%. We know R, uh, we, we do not know the value of R, let's assume for a time being, if it is 8%, then the resultant concentration will be simply average of these two, simple average of these two, which will be 10. But the point is right now we do not know what the value of concentration of R is, we'll try to figure that out. So let's focus on this part of the information. It says concentration of ethanol in P and Q is 12 and Y. P and Q are mixed in the ratio 5 to 3 to get R. So mixing these two in the ratio 5 to 3 to get the concentration of R. So thus can I say the concentration of R, concentration of ethanol in R will be nothing but you're taking 5 parts of this. So 5 into 12%. You're taking three parts of this, this divided by overall quantity which is 5 plus 3, 8. And when you simplify this, this is going to be 60% plus 3y% percent by 8 overall percentage. Okay. Now, so this is the concentration of ethanol in the solution R. And now he says P and R are mixed with equal quantities. So R concentration is how much? by 8 percentage. P is given to be 12 percent. Now when you mix them, you are getting the resultant as 20 percent. So thus can I say simple average of these two by 8 upon 2 simple average of these two should be equal to 20 percent. Percentage on both sides can be cancelled out. When you cross multiply, you will get 40. 40 minus 12 is 28. 60 plus 3y upon 8 will give you 28. When you cross multiply one more time, 8 into 28 will give you what? 160, 224. 224 minus 60 will give you 164. So thus can I say the value of y will be 164 upon 3 percentage. Of course it will be in percentage. So what is 164 by 3? Because the option choices are in mixed fraction. Let's convert that. So when you simplify this, this will be 54, 2 by 3 percentage. So 54 2 by 3 percentage would mean the option choice y. So the value of y will be 54 2 by 3. It's not percentage because already we are taking the concentration of ethanol in solution Q as y percentage. So the value of y will be only 54 2 by 3. Okay. So option choice A thus is the correct answer. Alright. So I hope we are clear with this question. So with this uh, we have come to the end of the video here. Uh, so again uh, in this video also all right, I would uh, suggest you all to uh, subscribe to the video here and uh, watch all the videos that we have uploaded so far right? we will be uploading more we also upload videos on concept discussion please do watch that right? I am sure you will get some kind of uh, learning advantage 
uh, from those videos too please check them out right? and uh, subscribe and share this video uh, in your friend circle right? on that note let me end the session here thank you and all the very best